We're doing the Ianger Alt Bearish Beer, 5.0% alcohol by volume. Um, it's uh, from Ying, Germany. Get the pour here. Mm -hmm. It's definitely dark. Yep. Colors it's brownish, reddish. A little, little bit of tinge here. to the head there. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Smells dark. It smells that clean, yeasty, yep, German character mm -hmm. to it, though. Real crispy. Yeah, absolutely. The yeast is just—I mean, it's the first thing that hits you. Yeah. God, how clean and crisp and fragrant that is. Yeah. And then you get a little bit of the malt notes and some of the sweetness and you know the darker grain kind of breadiness. Damn, that's a refresher right there, man. Mm -hmm. Almost a little bit fruity, mm -hmm. smidge caramely, malty though, all the way through. Oh, yeah. And then pretty dry. Yep. Yeah, it's heavy, but then it ends light. Mm -hmm. And you, you got all the caramel flavor type, you know, it sets in, kind of goes in a wave, you know. Yeah. You got that, yeah, and then yeah. Um, slight alcohol. Oh, it's operated since 1878. Here we go, a couple hundred years then, yeah. yeah. Well, that's what I like about all, a lot of these like uh, original style beers, because they've been around so long, they've perfected it and kept it that way. They don't <laughs> yep. change things. No, uh, they Typically don't, not. Yeah, I mean, you don't switch up the hops. It's the same. It's the same mm -hmm. yeast strain for hundreds of years. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's a lot to be said yeah. about that. So this is interesting. I've never had a beer that say this. It says deep and malty, of course, but a, group, a great food pairing. Better Which believe we're it. We're gonna run right into. So, yep. um, God damn, this would go with something as simple as like uh, butter toasted rye bread or something. You yeah. know, like a, a nice dry type of bread. I love rye with bread with some rich beer. salt. Yeah, um, yeah, salty cured meats. Mm -hmm. You know. Oh yeah. Um, rye or pumpernickel with some sort of you know <clears throat> German meats on there because right. they're famous for all sorts of cold cuts and yep. you know brats and oh my god, it'd be incredible. Their pastas and stuff yep. as well. Um, this yeah, would go good, really good with some cheeses too. Yeah, good caraway rye and like a sharp cheese, you mm -hmm. know, and oh man, yeah. even some creamy cheese too, really. Oh yeah, with and this. and just kind of that dark maltiness too would be really good with some like some uh, you know Copper River salmon kind of yeah, oh yeah, some of the red stuff, even yeah, blackened a little bit because this would hold up to a little bit of spice too, mm -hmm. not a ton, but you know, some, especially with seafood. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, th this would uh, this would go really good with some game too. Mm -hmm. uh, make a nice little caramel gl uh, glaze with it. Maybe yeah, it'd be little... killer with some venison. Yeah, light yeah. barbecue sauce some, or something to dip it in. Yeah, some duck. Mm -hmm. Even a, even like <clears throat> some braised pork loin or something. You know, you could take a, oh, yeah. a loin roast mm -hmm. and sear it off really good, all coated oh, yeah. with pepper and spices, and then braise that in some braising liquid and some of this for a while. Yep. And Serve that up with some, you know, you could almost like stuff it with some sausages and mm, yeah, Fucking hot German potato salad. This would go good with something like sharp, like a dessert, like a pumpkin pie or something. Yeah. Like something that's got a lot of like. Yeah, or any other kind of gourd too, you know, if you're mm -hmm. talking about things like squashes, <clears throat> butternut yeah. squashes oh, yeah. and, you know. Mm -hmm. When you're drinking this, you know you're drinking something just traditional and pure yeah I mean, there's there's just something that's so honest about it yeah alt bearish dunkel mm -hmm. very nice